It's four o'clock and I'd like to call the meeting of the City Planning Commission to order. Would our uh, clerk uh, please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen. Here. Alderperson Bourne. Here. Ryan Sazma. Here. Jerry Jones. Here. Marilyn Montemeyer. Here. Dave Hoffman. Here. And Don Svitan. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you very much. Next, uh, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, next, we'll, go, we'll start an introduction of the committee members and staff. Dave, you want to start on that end? Lenny, building inspection. Mike Vandersteen, mayor and chairman. Chad Pelichek, planning director. Steve Soklowski from the planning department. Uh, Ryan Sazma, Department of Public Works. Don Sweeton, citizen member. And on blind, Marilyn. Alderman Jim Bourne of the 10th district, and I'm the alder alderman on the uh, plan commission. Uh, Marilyn Montemayor, citizen representative. Jerry Jones, vice chairman and citizen representative. Thank you very much. Um, next item on the agenda is to uh, see if anybody has a conflict of interest with any of the items that we have on the agenda. Seeing none, then we'll proceed to the items for discussion and possible or action. First of all, we have to approve the minutes from uh, the December 15th meeting. I'd entertain a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Then we'll go on to items for discussion and possible action. Item 3.1 is an application for a conditional use permit with exceptions by Torganol Incorporated to construct two new tanks at their facility at 4617 South Taylor Drive. Steve, can you give us a preview of this? Sure. Thanks, Mayor. Um, Tom Testweed is here from Torganol, and he may have a contractor also online from ACE. Um, what we're taking a look at is Torganol has their facility located at 4617 South Taylor Drive, and they're looking to construct two new storage tanks at their facility. The tanks would expand their bulk facilities in order to hold increased quantities of key raw materials for manufacture of Torganol's flagship product, which is polymer colored flakes. The two steel tanks are needed to increase production levels and support current and future product demand. They would be located at the southwest corner of the facility. So you can see in the, the plans that you have before you that there are presently two smaller tanks in the area, uh, approximately 30 feet and 46 feet. And now they are looking to install the, these two new 60 foot tanks. Um, Torganol is also uh, requesting a height exception uh, due to the height of the 60-foot tanks, typically um, the maximum height in the suburban industrial zone is 50 feet. Um, staff did have an opportunity to work with Mr. Testweed on um, the size of the tanks, and they were originally looking at 80 feet tall, and they did have the opportunity with uh, some changes in maybe the diameter of the tanks that they were able to reduce them to 60 feet, which is probably a little bit more consistent with some of the heights in the industrial park. So staff was recommending approval of the proposal subject to the conditions that you have before you. So I can answer any questions, and um, Mr. Testweed is here as well. Thank you very much for that report, Steve. Mr. Testweed, would you like to add anything to that? Please step to the lectern. Steve, that was an outstanding job. <laughs> Plan Commission, I just wanted to thank you for all the good work that you do for the city of Sheboygan. Uh, as Steve mentioned, you know, really we're looking at, uh, we bring in barium sulfate. Uh, it's a pretty common mineral filler. It's used in products like bowling balls, a real heavy material, and calcium carbonate. 
So these uh, additional tanks will allow us to, to bring more material in uh, for our manufacturing process. Uh, this past summer, during our busy peak months, we were really going hand to mouth with material. So that's really the, the main purpose. Uh, and we're working with the same contractors that we've done the last tank projects in terms of the foundation pad, the tanks and the feed system. Uh, so it should all blend in pretty nicely with the, the current tanks that are in place. Very good. Thank you for those remarks. Commissioners, hey. do you have any questions, Steve? Hey, Mayor. Uh, Tom, could you just kind of mention when Torganol came here, a couple of the additions and that you also <coughs> purchased another parcel in the park? I don't know if everyone's familiar with that. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. it goes back a few years. Uh, Torganol used to make the entire coating